So I want to talk about fiber bundles. Um, uh, so let me let's let's work. Um, so S is going to be uh, some geometric category. Okay, and uh, so this will be like uh, schemes, manifolds, stacks, whatever you want. Okay, so you pick your, your favorite thing. Um, so uh, definition. Uh, so uh, let um, F be an S and let uh, X be an S. Okay, so a a uh, F fiber bundle is a scheme or is a is a object uh, J in uh, S. Um, uh, let's say S of X such that um, there exists a cover of uh, X so so there's a cover um, and isomorphisms uh, let's say uh, pi inverse of UI to uh, UI cross uh, X Oh, sorry, UI cross F. Okay, so um, here, the, okay, so this is, a, I gave the definition of an F fiber bundle, and so the definition is, is that there is, exists a cover, okay, and, uh, okay, so first of all, there's this thing sitting over X, so this is saying that there's this map J here, X to pi, okay, and then, uh, and then what we're saying is that there's a cover, so that each of the covers, uh, so that uh, each of these sets of the cover looks like, um, uh, this this product here, um, kind of let me let me draw a kind of the standard picture. Um, the standard pictures are well, the, the standard diagram is like this. You always you always write J up here. Here's X. Sometimes people write E's and P's. Here's pi, and then we have an open set. And uh, what we do is we can take pi inverse of U. This sits over pi, and then this thing here is U cross F. Okay, and so this this thing here is called a a trivialization. Um, uh, okay, and uh, so this, that's what a trivialization is. Um, I guess another thing to think about is that uh, here, um, uh, you, I, I draw this picture a lot, but it applies to a lot of things. So here, you're just going to have a bunch of fibers here. So these are all copies of F. And somehow they're, they're like, maybe I should have drawn this twisted. They're twisted in some way here. So they can maybe be varying in, in a non-trivial way so that it's not... Uh, globally, like a, a, the trivial fiber product. So if the, if um, if J looks like um, X cross F, uh, then this this is a, this is the example of the trivial uh, uh, F fiber bundle. Okay. Um, so sometimes uh, you can have it. I, I, so I need to introduce a little bit more terminology. Uh, so sometimes you can have an open set and you can have multiple trivializations. So, uh, so there's multiple trivializations. So you could say you could have a J, X here, and then you have this U. Okay, this is pi, pi inverse of U, and uh, this is in here. And maybe that there's there's maybe two guys here. There's maybe some psi one and psi two. These are both isomorphisms to U cross F. U cross F. And so what you can do, uh, also I, I should say that this isomorphism here, I, I, maybe I forgot to say this, is that this has to respect the projection. Okay, so uh, once you project down, it's the same thing as, as going backwards and projecting this way. Okay, so what you can do given two of these things is you can transition between one trivialization. So this map from psi 2 inverse composed with psi 1, um, so this is a map from, uh, well, let me write it like this. This is a map from U cross F. This is this one. It goes back here to another U cross F. Okay, and it respects this pro projection down here. 
so this is a pi one. Or let's call it p one since our use p one p one. And so this this thing here, um, this is called the transition map. And um, and let me tell you where it lives. Okay. So uh, let me give a definition. Um, so uh, so fix uh, f and s. Okay, I, I can define this sheaf of groups. So this is going to be a sheaf of groups. Um, sheaf of groups uh, on s. And what it does is uh, when you plug in an open set. Okay, it gives me these size where uh, we just write down what we wrote down before. Uh, here, let's say to u. So this is the projection. Okay, so these are these automorphisms of, of f. Okay, so this is what the, this this uh, sheaf of groups looks like. Um, uh, all right, so now I've talking I've talked about this, and so um, okay, so given the cover. Okay, so now what we can do is I can talk about the, the, the so I have, I, I have a bunch of transition maps, so let me tell you a fact. Uh, given an F bundle, uh, an F fiber bundle, uh, uh, we can construct uh, some uh, let's say psi i j here. Uh, let's say a class. Uh, class. Of, let's call this thing j. Uh, that lives in h one of uh, x with coefficients in this thing. And so this is some non-abelian check cohomology. Um, and so this thing is the cohomology class of of this thing. And um, uh, and uh, so how do we do this? So the construction is simple. Uh, so we'll take the cover. Uh, so this is what we call a trivializing cover. And um, what we can do is, uh, so let's call this, uh, so, so it's trivializing cover, meaning that uh, we'll have trivializations uh, psi i from pi inverse of u i to u i cross f. Okay, and then uh, what we can do is we construct now uh, on, on the restriction uh, psi i j. This goes from uh, pi inverse of uh, sorry. This goes from u i j. Well, okay, cross f to u i j cross f. Uh, and this thing is going to be defined to be psi i composed with psi j inverse um, after restricting. So this is uh, after restricting. And then uh, we can check that this thing satisfies the co-cycle condition. Uh, k psi k i is equal to the identity on i j k. And so this is the co-cycle condition. For uh, non-abelian cohomology, cohomology, um, uh, and that's that. Uh, okay, and so let me just tell you a fa one last fact is that um, this looks okay. Uh, the, w the one last fact that I want to uh, say is that uh, the co-cycle. Well, let me just say it. So uh, this this thing. Uh, so in fact, uh, the co-cycle uh, uh, that determines Uh, okay, maybe I can say one more thing. Um, 
So maybe you know that these things classify torsors, and what's the associated torsor? Um, so the torsor is the following. Um, so what we can do is we can construct a sheaf. So uh, given J, uh, J, uh, what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to look at uh, the following. Um, uh, so we'll take U and we'll map it to uh, uh, this this things for isomorphisms of pi inverse U to U cross F. Okay, and so this thing here is um, uh, this association. Uh, this this thing here is defines the uh, uh, sheaf of trivializations of trivializations of J and um, so that's the definition and so this thing is actually a torsor under uh, out F. Okay, and so what this means is that we have this action of this thing on this thing by taking a trivialization and then we can just compose again with some automorphism to get a, uh, um, to get a new one. Um, so I guess it's a right torsor. Um, all right, because the, there's the action on the, on the right. Um, let's see, we do an isomorphism. Oh, it's actually a left torsor, sorry. Uh, so you do the isomorphism and then you compose with this thing on the left and that, that's what gives you your, your new map. Um, all right, so that's all I wanted to say in this video. Um, I, I want to talk about structure groups of fiber bundles um, and we'll, we'll talk about that in, uh, in the next video.